All right, hey, and welcome to another part of Let's Have Fun with Creative Souls Vibe. And I'm simply Artie. <laughs> um, hope everything is going well with you guys. I really do. Um, last week, I did a project using flour. And um, it was all about making uh, those beautiful charms, right? I hope you made some and, um, and you know, share what you've made. Don't be shy. <laughs> you know, here at Creative Soul Vibes, we can't be shy. We're not shy people, right? Um, because we enjoy expressing ourselves. And that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy uh, doing projects like these. They are uh for the most part, they're simple, um, and you know you can do them. When, you know when you're bored, you can have fun with them on rainy days. Like today is a rainy day where I am, and um, you know if you're sitting there and you just want to have some fun. Oh my goodness, really? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I got my window open, so sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how they could be riding a motorcycle in the rain, but I guess. All right, so like I said, this is just plain flour. And I think I used like one third once again, or maybe a little less than one third, because I'm not really doing a big project, right? Um, but I remember you know, last week telling you I wanted to come back, you know, and kind of show you how to create um, sculpting or sculpture, right, with using flour and oatmeal, but this time I'm not going to use the oatmeal. The oatmeal actually, it's nice to have texture, you know, um, depending on what you're doing. So anyway, um, I just created this parcel like figure here on this really small kind of uh, canvas and I'm going to finish it uh, but I was really kind of saving it um, for today right and so this is called once again uh, we could term this as being a high relief type sculpting or sculpture technique right because it's protruding as you can see, it's really thick. And I'm telling you, this stuff gets hard, boo. It gets very, very hard. <laughs> okay. But it's, um, once again, it's a lot of fun. And depending on what you create, um, you know, they make really nice sentimental kind of gifts. Okay. All right. So now to start, we have our flour. And then um, just going to pour some water and this is sink water by the way okay <laughs> um and i don't have on gloves today so i'm prepared to get get in here so i'm just gonna like mess with it you know play with it around and around right and it's gonna get gooey and that's why i was saying when you do this type of thing you really want something, you know, vinyl or something like that. Um, when you take it out from whatever you're mixing it in. Okay. Now, if it gets too sticky, which this is, and I think I have just enough too to do what I'm going to do. Um, and you could put a little bit more flour on it. You might want to put a little flour on the foundation of what you're going to put this on once you take it out. Well, once I take this out from the container, I'm, mis I'm mixing in. And then, all right, so I'm going to set this aside. And so now I'm just going to kind of play with, play with the dough, so to speak. So it's still sticky and too sticky. And so I'm just going to roll it around some more. It's almost like you're cooking, huh? <laughs> I know nothing about uh, pastries, really. My sister, 
she's a dynamite um, pastress, if that's a word. She can really do pies and stuff like that. Um, me, on the other hand, I like to cook food, food, you know, uh, pot roast, you know, some good uh, buffalo fish, <laughs> you know, greens. I, I love greens. Um, so anyway, I'm making myself hungry again. All right. So now you just keep rolling it over. So it shouldn't be as sticky now. This is why I like wearing gloves with this project. But anyway, it's fun stuff. Um, kids love it. Most kids anyway. And so now it's it's not as sticky. I can kind of work with it. But we're just going to put a little bit more flour down because it can stand to be a little less sticky. <laughs> okay. So I can really work with it. All right. All right. So now let's try that again. Yeah, that's feeling better. That's feeling a lot better. Indeed. Okay. So I just want to make sure I can really stretch and do what I really want to do. So, yeah, it's. See, and then when you when you when you stretch it and do all that, you may find the inside, you know, is still really wet. Like, and so you just add some more. All right, so I am going to use a cardboard. Okay. I'm going to use this cardboard actually. All right, to create on. Oh, you might want to use some glue. You know, I didn't use any glue this time, but the glue does um, kind of help enforce, you know, it staying together till end times. <laughs> um, but like I said, you can use some glue for yours. That, but you want to put the glue in, of course, um, during the mixture, right? When, when I had it in my container mixing the water, I should have uh, used the glue then. Okay. So now I'm just kind of getting it um, malleable. Is that it? Or pliable? <laughs> okay. And... I think I'm going to put a little flour too on my base here. Okay. So that way it won't stick up. It just won't automatically stick before I'm able, before I'm ready for it to do that. Okay. All right. So now. What you can do is probably pause if you don't have what I'm about to say uh, or an idea of what I'm about to say, which is I was thinking about creating um, a symbol. I like symbols and I'm thinking about creating the infinite, the infinite symbol for the universe. Yeah, I get deep like that. So, <laughs> okay. And so in order to do that, I'm thinking I may want to, to just have one long type of, uh, like a long spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to roll, roll, roll. And stretch, you know, I'm stretching it out as I go. Now you may want to find you something simple. Just I, I and I picked the, that symbol. I picked the uh, infinite symbol because it is elegant and simple, you know, for showing this type of project. But now you can make you can get as sophisticated as you want. Okay, you can you can get as as uh, 
sophisticated as you want me to get. <laughs> okay. And see, so I'm really stretching, pulling as I as I go, flattening, pulling. Okay. And when you find your symbol that you that you're wanting, you know, just um, have fun molding it and playing with it. You know, um, I could have done the the figure again, but I just didn't want to. <laughs> but I am going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. All right. And by the way, you can also add color. You can add some like watercolor um, to your mix so that your your um so that your they are awfully loud today. Awfully loud today. Okay, so yeah, you can add watercolor to it. Okay. And so, all right, so I'm steadily pulling because you know the infinite symbol is like an eight, right? Yeah. So, just pull, 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 flat, flat, flat. Yeah. And don't look for perfection, okay? Don't look for perfection. Don't look for perfection. Okay, so let's see if I can kind of do it and make it look like, well, hmm, let's see. Maybe I have to do it some more. But there, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right. And so, I'm just going to close that up. Sweet. Okay. So, I just closed that up, right? And kind of pinch it together. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So once again, you know, not looking for perfection, but um, the image itself. Okay. So you can see. Here's I would like. Well, actually, I could stand it to be a little bigger. You know, like a little larger, but this is fine. This is really fine, okay? So, then I'm gonna have to let it dry. And as we discussed in um, the other vids, you know, it takes a while for for this stuff to dry, for this, <laughs> for this flower to dry. I mean, like it takes, at least you're gonna well something like this about three to four days because of the thickness right for it to like really totally dry but you don't have to wait until you know for it to totally dry in order to start embellishing it you really don't have to wait that long um but i would wait at least until just the, the surface of it is pretty dry so that that's going to actually take about a day or two for for the surface of it to actually uh, be dry, right? To become dry. All right. Now I'm going to. And you know what's wonderful? Like I said um, too before, is you can make like several depending on how much batter you uh, mix up. You can make like several pieces at one time. All right. And I love that idea because um, when I start to, you know, paint and embellish uh, my pieces, then I can actually work on um, uh, another piece while the other pieces are drying. 
And then while that piece is drying, I can select another piece to work on and so forth and so on. Okay. Um, now this piece, it may not stick to this surface here. It may not because um, I did add a significant amount of flour, uh, you know, to keep it from sticking to my hands that much. And then, um, uh, because this is, this is cardboard and sometimes, you know, it gets wet, it starts doing tricks and stuff like that. And it's okay if you don't mind, you know, your for your foundation to become a part of your actual work, right? That's such an arty thing to say and do. But <laughs> but if that's something that you want to, you know, you could play around with it. That's all I'm saying. This is just giving you ideas um, to kind of play with. So here's my infinite symbol of the universe. Yeah, so I'm going to put this over. It kind of looks like a pretzel. Could be a pretzel. Huh? All right. <laughs> So I'm going to put this one over to the side and begin the drying process for that. Now, okay, so I did the same thing for this piece, except as you can see, um, this is a, a kind of more of a figure, a human figure here. So, but what I'm going to do with this is... I'm going to give you some ideas on, on painting, right? You always have your water. That's important. Always have your water. Um, I have so much stuff going on here. <laughs> oh, I, I, I finished this one, uh, this charm piece. Can you see that? I finished. Well, I'm not really finished with it, but it's the tree. I said I was going to do a tree, a tree of life kind of um, symbol. So um, I'm working on that now. I love my charms, by the way. They came out awesome. They really did. All right. So now I had some black paint here. And I'm, I'm just going to go over this surface again. Okay. Real quick, like, let's cover that up. And I'm not really concerned about making mistakes that much, you know, because it's all about having fun doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay. And I always like to paint my edges, you know, and my sides. Paint those two. Okay, let me see if I can get some more paint out of here. I use it until the last of it. <laughs> and then uh, add water to whatever is left sometimes, depending on, you know, what I'm trying to do. Okay, and so this is the same thing I would, uh, you know, I make an assumption to say that you would do with your piece. Right, you're just gonna uh, paint that uh, background, paint it, paint around it, and all. Okay. Let's see. There you go. There you go. All right. So, and these, you know, these projects, they really don't take too long once you get started. No. They really don't. Okay, so I'm painting the edges now. You know, the sides. Okay. Just stretching that paint. Go across there. Awesome sauce. All right. Like I said, I'm not trying to be too neat about it because um, knowing me, I'm going back over it again anyways. Because actually I had drawn something on this on this um, on this canvas and uh oh, 
<laughs> there you go. We're back. <laughs> We're back. All right. That's probably even better. Okay. <laughs> All right. A little excitement there. All right. So, so now I've painted it, you know, the foundation once again. And like I said, I'm going to paint over. Uh, the edges, you know, and the sides. So, you know, we're we're not looking for perfection just yet. Now, I have to decide if I'm going to leave this image in this uh, original uh, color or hue, if you will, natural tone. So, no, I'm not. And what I'm going to do is paint... I'm going to paint this, the image, white. Well, there you go. Okay. See? And just paint over it. You know. Now, if I had created an, uh, another painting or another, you know, one of these artsy things here, <laughs> then I could set this aside and work on another one while this one dries. And that's how that's how artists uh, create more than one work, you know, one piece of work at a time. Right. So, okay. Um, I don't know if this. I don't, I'm not sure if this is a man or a woman. Uh, I don't care. It's an image, right? Because even in your Bibles, it talks about how heaven doesn't have a uh, female or male. You know, we just that's it's just energy existing. Okay. So think about those type of things, too. When you're creating, you know, um, it, and you're, even if when you're just having fun or whatever, I mean, it really helps to uh, kind of give it, give it some open mindedness. Right. Don't be so strict on yourself um, because you've been told that this is that and this doesn't go with that in. You shouldn't do it this way. Um, when it comes down to art, that's th no such thing. No such thing. Um, unless you're trying to uh, compete on a scholarly level, you know, you're trying to compete um, uh, with the with the Van Goghs out, you know, spirits and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean. So if you're trying to compete. Uh, like that, then that's another story because that's another uh, genre of how people view art, right? Because then you have that low-end art and high-end art, and it's all due to um, a, a person's uh, perception, perspective of what art is. And so we all have one about it, I'm pretty sure. All right. So now, and I don't mind, I don't mind the flakes. I think it kind of adds, it's going to add to um, the piece. And that's what I was kind of talking about when I was saying you can allow your foundation to become, you know, integrate with your, with your actual piece, right? And then it becomes more unified. It looks more unison sometimes when we do that. All right, so... Now, um, this black is still wet here, but that's okay. That's that's truly okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is, I think I'm going to add some, okay, this is going to look really kind of weird at first because it's, it's more white I'm adding here. 
It's gonna look kinda. And then actually, I could kind of take some of this this paint up, right? I can take some of that up. It's just about dry anyway. Like, I mean, it's just about dry anyhow. All right. So I'm going to just paint this like so, right? Because this is like my spirit um, rendition. <laughs> So now it's it's really become really white. As you can see. see. So okay. But it's not gonna stay this way. Okay, we're not gonna stay this way. Mm -mm. All right. It just kind of acts like a kind of like a glow in the back, the background. Okay, so see that like so. Okay. Okay. So now, what we are going to do now, well, actually, okay, I'm going to let this dry, because if I don't, it's it's going to, uh, the, the uh, other colors below, or the neutral tones below are going to, you know, uh, mix in, and it's going to make it uh, murky, uh, muddy looking, okay? And that's not what we're going after. At least that's that's not what I'm going after. I'm not going after the murky stuff. Um, so I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to come back and um, show you more. Okay. Once this dries, I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. So thank you. <laughs> um I did get a little farther down the way, right? So, but uh, here's my soul, my soul piece. Okay, I'm not even really done with it. Okay, I am not. I'm, I'm just not. But anyway, I really just wanted to let you see, you know, um, and use your creative juices. You know, uh, you can create. Just about, just about anything uh, using flour. And like I said, if you have some oatmeal, you know, throw some oatmeal in there. Um, if you have color, you could put color in your mix, you know. So uh, just use your imagination on what you want and how you want, you know, how you want your work to look. So... While I'm playing around with this, <laughs> see, I'm just really basically making uh, those marks in there, sort of like star starburst type of marks, right? And um, so the next time I show you this, it's going to look different even more because uh, these colors have to dry so that I can add um, my other my few other colors that I want to like toss in here. Okay. So yeah, that will do it. Okay. And um, I I'll be showing this piece again, along with some other pieces that, um, you know, I'll create along the way using my flour and or oatmeal. And I hope that you enjoyed you know, this project, like I said, it's a lot of fun. There's so many things you can actually do just with simple stuff in your home, you know, 
And, um, th you know, at least you know that those things are not toxic and um, you can actually have fun creating uh, these things with your children, right? And like I said earlier in my earlier vids too, um, working with children, um, you know, they really find it a lot of fun creating those charms and beads and, and kind of like giving them um, to their parents, you know, grandparents and, and dad, whatever, as uh, just a little token of, of, um, of their affection, if you will. Okay. So, all right. That will do it for now. And I will return with um, some new projects that you can do uh, on your own and have fun whenever you do. Okay. So thank you for uh, spending time with Creative Souls Vibe. And you must be a creative soul viber if you're here. <laughs> so feel free to share this uh, video too, okay? I appreciate you. Sending you peace, love, and light.